everybody. Welcome to some prime time football on the NFL Network. The Alliance coming to you from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. It's the two and four Salt Lake City Stallions taking on the San Antonio Commanders, a team riding a three game winning streak and the fans out in full force here. They are ready. Woodrow. Throw to the sideline, pass is caught. M on for the 32-yard field goal attempt. To 6 of 10 on the year. This one up and good. Make that 7 of 11. First play of the game, he goes to the air, swings it out to his running back, Kenneth Farrell, who breaks the tackle. And that's going to go for nine yards. Kenneth Farrell, Boy, one of the like more talented running backs you're talking about a quarterback working through his progression. He starts looking over here, and then he comes back with his feet. And he comes all the way back to number four in the progression for a completion. That's very well done by the quarterback. Woodside with time. As a man yes. caught at the 50-yard line. You saw the numbers there. They convert third downs. Zip to the middle and caught the 30. DeMarcus Ayers making the grab. And this is a flanker drive concept. I'll show you what that is. You're going to see a tight end coming underneath, and you're going to have the second guy coming behind. If it's zone, they'll sit down. If it's man to man, they'll keep running. Woodside will shoulder fake over the corner of the end zone. And it's caught! What a grab! You serious, Mikhail McKay with the first touchdown of the game. It's a slant and go. Watch this. Make corner bite and go up and catch that 50-50 ball. He As everybody does in the alliance and they're on third and three. Looking to the right, what side picked off. Cody Brown making the interception, his first interception of the year. Throwing the ball to the outside, but you'll see the safety come over here, right over the top. Over differential, not good for Salt Lake so far this season. Perhaps that changes today. Taking a shot down the middle. DeMornay Pearson out inside the 30. Quick strike from Woodrum to his leading receiver, Pearson L. His 28 receptions coming into the game, third in the AAF. Yeah, I was on the field before the game, and. He was talking to Mike Riley, who coached him at Nebraska. 53-yard field goal attempt for Bertolay. Sneaks it inside the upright. Woodside back to pass. And is a man wide open. Nobody around Evan Rodriguez. Wide open on the corner route. You're going to see nice protection right here, and then there's just nobody around right here. Ball in the 34, Woodrum over the middle. Pearson L out to the 48-yard <laughs> line. Second and seven, here comes pressure from the backside. He gets it off. And look at the athleticism from his tight end, Nick Truesdale. But the ball's on the ground, and that's what's really plagued this offense. Nine turnovers after the last two weeks. On first and 15, he's picked off at the five. Picked off at the five. Oh, my goodness. And it's Duke Thomas, the man who was called for the penalty with the interception, making amends for the commanders. This is the team that leads the alliance in takeaways, and we do it again. Duke Thomas. With the pick of the 25-yard return, the 13th interception of the season for San Antonio. And off to Aaron Green, then dumps it off to Aaron Green, who makes a move, cuts it back inside. Green out to the 40-yard line, picking up the first down. Woodside, wide right open again. It's Evan Rodriguez, his big tight end. Evan Rodriguez for the second time in this game. There's nobody within 10 yards. This time he manages to stay in bounds, and it's a 45-yard game. They came back to the same play that they ran earlier. It wasn't covered, and he threw the ball a little too wide. It went out of bounds. This one was caught. It's out for Nick Rose. And it's good, so... 
from 52 out. He got it. Wow, he split him. <laughs> that was perfection to Farrell. Here comes the pressure. He's going down. Fields it at the 30-yard line. Nice return before it was called back by a penalty. Breaks a tackle there. He has another dandy here. And he hooks this one. Looks like it was trying to come back. It's going to be exciting. That was this. Complete at the 30-yard line. Woodrum. Oh. Third and 10. Woodside. Pressure oh. again. And down goes Woodside. The Stallions defense, particularly up the middle. Pressure coming. Oh, Woodrum taken down right away. Ball's loose. Recovered by the Stallions. But you could see that coming right away off the edge. J Williams going to run there this one. Williams with some room. Tries to cut it back inside. Picks up the first down. And that's going to keep the chains and the clock moving. Williams Bam. has a man open. Complete for the first down. Williams. He saw Williams in the backfield. Yes, yeah. and run into the end zone. Diving in for the touchdown is Trey Williams. A 36-yard score for the 5'7", 200-pound speed merchant out of Texas A&M. Well, there's your chunk way that you were asking for. And it's a little swing route out here. You got to pick up some blocks. Watch all these guys blocking down the field. Very well done in open space. Now, hit fifth year and here. The touchdown, right? There's an attempt here. Williams looks to throw. Goes the other way. Back in the corner of the end zone. Catch is made by Greg Ward. Woodrum, pressure. Woodrum down. Sack for the defense. That third and 17 for Woodrum. Has a man over the middle, first down and more <laughs> down to the 30-yard line. Guess who? I was a play early when I said keep an eye on Nick Truesdale. Woodrum. Did he squeeze it in there? I think he's got it. I think he made the catch. Woodrum with the pump thing. Goes to the corner of the end zone, has a man, holds on to the ball. Salt Lake touchdown. What a tremendous catch coming to the backfield. Terrell the receiver and run that passing tree. He's on the outside right here. And this is a great throw up and down before the safety can get there and just knock him good. But this is a great catch. Woodrum to the end zone, picked off. There's a lot of room. Oh my goodness, talk about a game changing play. He could go the distance. It is Devontae Bosby with his fifth interception of the season. Great with his eyes because he's reached the quarterback's throw. Here he goes, breaks on the ball, and it's see you later because he can scoop. The outside, maybe first down will win this thing. Pull it. Third and three. Game over. And Williams holds on to it. You called it. Picks up the first down for San Antonio. San Antonio came into this game having played four straight on the road. can do this, how they go. They've got a backup quarterback who's getting some snaps. He looks like he can do this. This crowd is energized. This is the fourth win in a row. And if defense wins championships, this bunch has a chance to get there now. San Antonio came into the game number one in the alliance in sacks. They held Salt Lake to just 39 total rushing yards in this game. We'll have to wait and find out the injury status of Logan Woodside, who has played so well the last couple of games. But how nice is it if you're San Antonio to have the luxury of having a backup quarterback like Marquise Williams. This win pushes their winning streak to four games. Their record to five and two. They remain at first place in the West. And appear to be on a collision course with the postseason. I could not help but be so happy for head coach Mike Riley, who seemed, I, he literally loves what he's doing here.